Using mock-ups to present your design work with can show your work in the best light. So stick around if you want to find out how to create an awesome sign mock-up in Photoshop. What's up designers, welcome back to Digifrog Designs. If you're new here, I'm Matt Roberts, brand identity designer and illustrator. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a sign mock-up like this. Using quality mock-ups can help present your work in the best light, especially ones that you create specifically for the project. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We post new videos every Wednesday, helping you become a better designer. Let's jump into Photoshop and get started. So now we've got Photoshop fired up, let's actually take a look at how I created this mock-up. So to start things off, we need the image that we're going to be using to create the mock-up from. To create this, I've used an image from Adobe Stock. Um, I'll drop a link to a 14 day free trial in the description box so you can sign up and get the same image if you want to follow along. But any image will work. The process that we're going to be using is going to follow the same steps regardless of what the image is. Now we've got our image, how do we actually go about creating the mock-up side of things? I always like to work with smart objects for my mock-ups. That means I can reuse them and re work them for different presentations and different clients. To start things off, I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle that is the size of the sign and the area that I want to work with. So I'm going to select my rectangle tool and then I'm just going to draw out a rectangle that roughly fits inside there. As you can see, it doesn't quite follow the shape perfectly. Um, that's absolutely fine. Um, we'll correct that in a moment. But now we've got our rectangle sorted what i'm going to do is just right click on that and then i'm just going to convert to smart object that means anything that happens from this point forward whatever we replace inside this smart object the changes will take place too as well so let's just zoom in slightly and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to reposition the rectangle to actually match and line up perfectly with the edges here i'm going to hold command on my keyboard to change the skew of these to work with some of the angles that are in there and just to correct those to drag them out so command and drag that over there the same here so at the minute you're probably looking at this thinking it looks no different and if I turn these layers off and you'd absolutely be right so I'm just gonna add some artwork to this layer so we can see what we've got and then actually look at creating this making it look a little bit more realistic so for this example, I'm just going to be utilizing an old design that I've got for one of the items in the merch store. And I'm just going to put that in there and I'm just going to save that and then I'm going to switch back over to the sign mockup. But as you can tell, it doesn't quite fit in and it just looks like I've dropped it on top, which if that's the kind of look you're going for, that's great. But what I want to try and do is make this look more realistic and actually fit within the vibes of the the surroundings that are here so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my layer and I'm going to come up to blending options and then I'm going to turn on an inner glow I just want this to replicate the light leak of the sign so I'm just going to turn up the opacity on that just so we can see it and you've got it coming in there and I'm just going to switch it back over to normal just so we can see it I'm just going to change the color and make it something more fitting along the lines of what we've got and I'm just going to bump up the size as you can see we've got this subtle glow around the outside now making it look a little bit more realistic than it did before the next thing we're going to look at doing is putting a reflection on top of the sign here because if this was in real life we'd have everything the surroundings all reflecting in the screen that's here to do that I'm just going to take a selection from over here and I'm going to copy and paste that into a new layer and I'm just going to drag that on top. Next thing I'm going to do is Command T on that to bring up my free transform, right click and then I'm just going to flip horizontally. After that I'm going to drag it on top of my mock-up layer here and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so it fits over the complete sign. I'm going to right click on my layer and I'm going to click on create clipping mask. Once I've done that, you'll see that it's trimmed off the edges nicely so it fits. So the next thing that we're going to do to make this look like a reflection on top of the design is I'm going to actually switch the blending mode to lighten. From there, drop the opacity right down. And as you can see, it's starting to make it look a little bit like there's a reflection sitting on top, increasing the realisticness of this mock-up. 
And if I toggle these through, you can see the difference this adds. The next thing that I want to look at sorting out is the blacks. If you look around in the rest of the image, the blacks here are very soft compared to what's in this design here. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add a curves adjustment layer. I'm just gonna position that at the top here and to drop these blacks to match round what's here, I'm gonna raise here and I'm actually gonna lift it up here to soften those off. I'm just gonna clip that to my actual mock-up layer so it's only affecting that mock-up. And the idea of what I wanna do now is just move this about until it gets somewhere that matches what's going on around. So I think I'm happy with that somewhere around there. And what I might just do as well is just lift the mids only slightly just to bring a little bit more of that detail back into the sign there. So what we can see now is we're actually getting a little bit of the white coming through from the original image. So I'm gonna switch back to my smart object layer. I'm gonna zoom right in and I'm just gonna line those up a little bit better just to make sure we've got none of the original image slipping through. Cool, so I'm a little bit more happy with that. What I'm gonna do now is just gonna back into this inner glow. What I'm actually gonna do with this inner glow is I'm actually gonna change it over to darken. Depending on the image that you're working with and the design that you're working with, you may have to flick through and find one that's more suitable. And then I'm gonna hit an okay. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna zoom out just so we can see how it's looking actually quite happy with how that's coming together just to recap we've got a curves here to soften those blacks off to try and blend them in with the surroundings let me just rename these so we've got these so we've got a soften black layer we've got a reflection layer and we've got a mock-up layer here so i'm going to rename that one as I previously mentioned, you can reuse this mock-up as many times as you want. All you need to do to change out the image is double click on your smart object layer and it will reopen that layer up from before. And now I'm just gonna drag in a new image and just resize that to fit. Doesn't matter what image you've got. Um, I've just got one that's just on my computer. Once I'm happy with the position, I'm just gonna save that and I'm gonna return to my original layer. And as you can see, that's dropped that in perfectly into our mock-up and it actually works really effectively. So there's our finished sign mock-up ready to present our projects with. If you've got any questions or anything you'd like to see in a future video, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching designers. If you like this video, smash that subscribe button, give it a like and also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Share this video with your friends on social. It really helps reach more people educating them on building better brands and showing them what actually goes into designing them. And shop the merch to support the channel and show you part of the DFD crew. I'll catch you next week, designers.